Here is why two-wheelers are better for Dhaka City than four-wheelers. Disclaimer. Although the topic is a bit controversial, I will discuss it based on the presentation of specific information. Although Dhaka is known as the city of magic, the activities that take place in the city are not magic at all. And for the most part, it's useless. The amount of private cars in the city of 300 square kilometers is foolish in a word. Even though the conversation sounds a bit difficult, such a discussion on the matter is apparently appropriate. The driving side of Bangladesh is the left side of any road or freeway. Countries that also have the driving side on the left, such as Japan and India, those states often produce a large number of different types of buses, trucks, cars, motorbikes, etc. As a result, those countries export their manufactured vehicles to Bangladesh. And such vehicles are compatible to run on our roads. Since Bangladesh is a developing country, the prioritized demand of the country is less expensive and fuel-efficient vehicles. Originally Japan used to export used cars to our country at very low prices, and the cars are popular in Bangladesh from the very beginning due to automatic transmission. And because of such low prices, middle-income people and rich businessmen, government, and private employees from Dhaka, Chittagong, Silet, and Kulna usually buy those cars according to their affordability. In fact, the price is so low that a Bangladeshi man can buy a car, park it and maintain it only if he owns only two or three grocery stores. This is where the main problems arise. Now, we have excessive numbers of private cars in the country but the transportation problem as a whole stayed unchanged. The reasons why four-wheeled private cars became a nightmare and a curse for cities are, four-wheelers actually take up a lot of space. It is well known that the roads of Dhaka City have never been built with a proper operational plan. Thus the roads in Dhaka or Chittagong are not car-centric. Narrow roads are often two-lane, which can barely contain a sizable number of cars at once and severe traffic congestion takes place. When it is busy and during holiday times, such as in the morning and evening traffic jams are so crazy that ordinary people see it as a curse and get seriously angry. Usually, four-wheelers have at least a three-cylinder engine, which means burning too much fossil fuel, emitting a lot of greenhouse gases in the process, and causing serious damage to the environment. Nowadays, the city of Dhaka is considered almost uninhabitable mainly due to the fact that a large number of vehicles in the city burn fuel non-stop 24 hours a day, disrupting and wreaking havoc on the normal life of the city's dwellers. Expense is another considerable problem. When buying a car, the buyer has an adequate amount of money for sure. But he never thinks that why he bought the car in the first place. How many kilometers does he need to travel every day? How many passengers he might need to carry? How will he handle such an undesirable process as maintenance and parking? Since he doesn't think about these, he doesn't have the headache about the damage to the environment. One of the hallmarks of development is that people, whether rich or poor, will use public transport such as metro rail, train or bus extensively. So, the car is of no use, in that case. Rather it remains more like a useless and inefficient solution. If you then have to own a vehicle for badly needed self-transportation anyway, it is better to acquire a two-wheeler or a motorbike instead of a car. Now, you may have many questions or annoyances, but let us find out why. Motorbikes are available in our country at comparatively low prices. Those are mostly practical, well fuel efficient, and offer higher mileage. Lighter in weight and unlike a four-wheeled three-ton car that you must need to take with you wherever you go, such problems are absent in terms of motorbikes. 
following the rules and regulations of the road, wearing a helmet, not carrying more than two people at once, and going at a safe speed. Then nothing comes even close to a motorbike as your most practical vehicle. If you want to be showy about your image of wealth, motorbike has you covered too. The good-looking, eye-catching, and high-quality, faster motorbikes of some well-known brands can also be purchased at a slightly or little bit higher price, but that is able to fulfill all your desires. So, now you have nothing to argue with. The fact that two-wheelers are better than four-wheelers is a vehicle for self-use has been proven over a decade ago. Those are cheap, practical, and readily available, require little to no maintenance, take up far less space to park, can carry up to two people, and finally, consume less fuel. Then why not motorbikes are adopted massively? As rich people continue practicing useless stuff, we are not going to see a major change anytime soon. However, efforts to amend this will continue and hopefully, we will be able to cite some changes more or less. I often think and write about all kinds of contemporary issues and interesting topics. You can contact me at any time or send me a message on my messenger or Instagram. Just type at Raihansani2002 and search on the internet.